Lindsay, um, great playing today. Um, pretty average back nine, which was your front nine, but boy, you lit it up on the front, your back nine. Yeah, I did. I, uh, I think I birdied uh, one and two, eight and nine, and then a hole in between there. So it was, uh, yeah, five birdies of the front nine, which was my back nine. I think I'd warmed up by that point, you know, and my caddy and I, it's the first time we'd, she'd started reading putts for me because I honestly couldn't see anyway anything so she she read it everything it was perfect and my line was perfect so it's one of those days and tell me i, I heard something about tap dancing is that what really is relaxing you out there now <laughs> well if i tapped on the greens i reckon i'd get fined and beaten up by a lot of players but i honestly i started doing it this week and i love it it's so good it's good for your concentration and focus and for me it's good for my balance because I'm a bit of a one-legged dancer, you know, a bit woody. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's good. It's keeping me relaxed. Might lose a bit of weight. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did it for four hours the other day? Honestly, yeah. My lady I'm staying with, Irene, she called me OCD and we had a bit of a laugh about it. But I said, mate, this is so much fun. Because you hear the clicking, you know, you get the rhythm going and you just can't stop. You got the birdies going, you couldn't stop. That's good. You spent a lot of time talking about the depression and anxiety, and I'm not going to have you rehash it all, but but it seems like that's a stage that you've gone through and, and, and you've moved on. But the one thing that really impresses me about you is you seem to have golf in its proper perspective and being around this game forever. It seems like that's the hardest thing to do. Yeah, it is. I, I, for so long, and it's very easy to do when you're passionate about something and you worked hard at it you, you want to just control it and you know I let golf can kind of control me for a long time rather than me control golf you know and at the moment I just I'm, I'm playing because I enjoy the shots and I, I understand it I mean I'm at the level too I'm a bit older and been out here long enough to know that you're gonna have bogeys and doubles and you miss the putts and things are gonna distract you and now I can get over it versus just kind of lose my temper and have it drag me down. You're on a three-week three plan. Uh, most people would think, well, if I can win my first major, I can do this and I can do that and I can do everything else. You're in a position where you're going to reevaluate in September. You might not even play. Yeah, exactly. I, I think what people would say, oh, she's having a good run. She won't quit. I made the decision. I can't imagine I'd be out here forever. But as I said, I don't. I want to make the decisions because I love golf. I don't want it to be to dictate everything, like money, and you've got to play in these so many events to make this much money to keep your card. And that's just not me. I I want to play golf for fun. That's why I'm going to play in Europe. Yeah, the purses aren't as high and as good as the ones here in the States, but I enjoy the tournaments over there. I enjoy the players and the lifestyle and travel in Europe. And I've been over here now, and America's been great to me. So who knows what will happen? Maybe I'll stay at it and keep going. Maybe I won't, and we'll see. In talking to the greatest players over the last 25 years, the greatest winners in the game, it seems like the, the people who have cared less about the game celebrate more. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm trying to think of one. I was going to say John Daly. But it, he is a great example. I mean, he just goes out there and does it, doesn't really care. I think he probably does care, but he, it's like you said, it's perspective. You've got to have the right perspective and understand. I mean, I know if, if I'm missing a lot of parts, it's because I need to work on my putty. And with talking about depression, a lot of people were saying, what's wrong with your game? I wasn't working on my game, so I wasn't playing well and had nothing to do with technique or anything. It's just I was lazy. I didn't do, do any work. If you want to compete out here, you've got to work hard. So now I'm I kind of can control what's going on in my game a little more because I'm practicing. And when you play well, you know, that kind of helps you mentally too, but it puts a smile on the face, but, you know, it's just golf. Hey, last thing, a great round today, and obviously the most important part of the day is going to be your tap dancing later on. I would imagine it's going to be free and easy. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do something, but my legs are a bit stiff now, so I've got to stretch first, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Good luck the rest of the week. Thanks, Tom. Nice to meet you.